In my opinion, every slaughterhouse is inhumane. What could happen inside a slaughterhouse that could be humane when all these animals don't want to die? In this particular facility, the gas chambers, they thrash, they scream, and they clearly suffer. So we are here to raise awareness in particular for that, but in my opinion, any slaughter that is unnecessary is inhumane and wrong. And some of us here are not eating for five days as well, because often just the fact that all these animals are gonna have their heads cut off today, that often isn't enough of an excuse for the media to get here, so we have to do something a little bit extra this time. Yo, what's happening everybody? I am at a slaughterhouse for the next five days doing a food fast. That means no food. That's Channel 7 right there. We did an interview just a minute ago. That's a whole bunch of legendary activists. And look at all those cops. <laughs> Bit overkill. We're here to get footage of the trucks like we always do. We're here to hopefully get some really good stuff on mainstream media TV. And we're here to fast for five days so that we can actually bring these people here and make it interesting. This is the craziest part, when the police actually escort the slaughter truck in there. People who are terrorizing these animals and literally slitting their throats and cutting their heads off, putting them in gas chambers. Police should be protecting the innocent, not protecting the profit off these killers. Puddle of blood, pool of blood, and just piles of skin. Individual skins just been ripped off their bodies, and now it's in a big, disgusting pile. Stinks with a puddle of blood. Business as usual, standard legal practice businesses just murdering sentient beings, ripping their skin off their body. This is a tannery, this is for leather. You know, this is what they got killed just so we can sit on a couch. We could have sat on something that wasn't so destructive and violent, you know, that didn't cause all these individuals to be killed. What's happening everybody? We are on day three of our five day fast. That is a crew of police, riot police. Not like we're riding, but anyway. And this is a crew of amazing inspirational activists. A truck is obviously about to come because they are lined up like that, so here we go. Do you understand what's happening here? Because you've been here now for five days. Do you understand now that they're murdering those beings in gas chambers? Been stood out front of this slaughterhouse watching truck after truck after truck of animals come in, listening to those pigs screaming. It's day five of our fast out front of a slaughterhouse. We have such a good crew here today. Being at this slaughterhouse for all these days is really, man, it's just 
added another layer of realness to this situation. I'm really grateful for this action. I think everyone around the world should be getting onto this, all the activists around the world. I'm here with Joey Carbstrong, one of the most inspiring and dedicated animal rights activists in the world. I think that this is really a significant like moment in history. We're starting to gather around these slaughterhouses and it can't be hidden anymore. You know? yeah. Now we've got social media and we can we can gather hundreds of us. And hundreds. reach and reach millions. Yeah. Yeah, it's so powerful. And we've all got a big voice, we've all got our platforms. Even if you don't have the big platforms, we all collectively have a massive voice together, don't exactly we? Exactly right man. Cool. Well, so thanks so much for being here brother. You too man. Legendary. Legendary. You're a legend. Thanks man. This is Kara, <laughs> and I don't think I've ever seen anyone more excited for food before <laughs> in my life. So Kara has fasted for five days, and Kara's one of the main organizers of, of the event we've just had. And I think it was the second night, right? Was it the second night? <laughs> and she came over looking all guilty. I'm like, what are you, what's going on? She's like, oh, I'm gonna eat. I just, I just ordered Lord of the Fries. And I was like, no way are you eating, like no way, we're, got, we're all in. And then she was like, no, yeah, you're right, you're right. Even though hating on me, like so much, <laughs> but like, yeah, you're right. And um, and then, yeah, we, you were chill after that, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah. it was pretty, yeah, I mean, you are yeah. craving food. I was craving food, but I wasn't hungry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, so now it's time for our first piece. Can you unwrap the burgers? Okay. <laughs> oh my God, yes. Are you excited? I'm so excited. Well, I've thought about tricking you, I've thought about calling you on my way and saying, oh, they won't open. But then I thought, ah, it's me. That would be good. I think I do make jokes like that. You do mean jokes? Like that, but I don't want to try and do that. <laughs> I'm trying to do better. you like, I like chicken, but make them fast. How you feeling? Are you happier than you've ever been in your life? <laughs> yeah, you much. are, right? You're so happy. <laughs> Got my face. Yum. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she lucky. She 